All right, guys, welcome back. I don't really know how to start this video, so I'm just gonna do it. So today I got another fishing uh, lure, or not necessarily lure, but fishing bait tutorial on how to make at home with stuff that you already have at home. I made a video like this about two years ago and it got like over 100,000, <clears> over 100,000 like views and stuff. So that probably like my most viewed uh, video. So I'm gonna be doing it again, but a little bit different this time. I am still gonna be using the flour. I am still gonna be using the garlic powder, salt, <clears throat> and a couple of new ingredients also. I'm gonna be using some corn. In a certain way, we can't use corn, like the grains and stuff here in the state of Utah. It's against the law, against fish and regulations. You guys know the shazang dang. So yeah, we're gonna make it a little bit different. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do instead of using the corn, we are actually gonna use the corn juice. So that's actually gonna kinda, kind of a loophole in using corn. As far as like how you guys know, corn works pretty darn good for trout. It actually works better than power base. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna use the, <clears throat> the juice. So let's, uh, let's get this thing going. Uh, also some salt. I'll show you guys the stuff that we're gonna be using, but let's open the can up, empty out the corn, and uh, let's, get this, let's get this thing going. All right, guys, once again, <clears throat> um, let's, let's see, I got right here the corn, I'm using a freaking huge can because I want the, I want a lot of juice coming out of the can, so I got two of them, I'm going to start off with one, it's about two cups, so I, I got the measurements for you guys if you guys want to try this at home, I have uh, about two cups of the corn juice, a cup of flour, uh, I'm not gonna really measure the garlic powder. You can do as you please with that. And some salt, simple as that. Um, if you guys live in a, uh, in a state where you can use corn for bait, then what you could do <clears throat> is get your corn and kind of like grind it and uh, just throw it in, in the pot with your flour and your liquid. We're not gonna use water, we're just gonna use straight corn. That's gonna give the scent that this fish is gonna be attracted to. So this is gonna be like a freaking powerful dope type of bait so let's start putting everything in here and uh start mixing these things up i'm gonna i'm gonna start off with the powder the garlic powder i'm just gonna put a decent amount some extra scent I tell you this is gonna be a killer bait this, this bait's gonna catch these fish all right there's the garlic got some salt right here bam that's gonna cause the bait to sink because of the salt. <clears throat> if you don't have any salt on it, most likely gonna deteriorate and just float to the top. So, want a little bit of salt if you're fishing off the bottom, or you can just put a bobber. That way, it just floats down. All right, let's see. Uh, let's add on our, our flour, a cup of flour. Nice measurement for you guys. You guys can do it at home. Easy that bam <clears throat> like i said if you guys do live in the states where you can use corn you're more than welcome to throw some corn in there and make it more effective all right let's throw in our juice uh this is going to be a little tricky it's two cups about two cups but i want to make sure that i got the right consistency and thickness of the oh crap off my uh dough so we're gonna start off with that and just mix it up a bit all right so i mixed the cup a cup of flour and about over a cup and a half of uh, the juice, but we still, we are super uh, liquidy still. So we're gonna add more flour. This is about a half a cup. We're gonna add more flour into that and mix it till we have like a nice consistency that will stick on the hook. That's what you want. All right, so we actually ended up using uh, um, two cups, two cups of flour, perfect for this, uh, this uh, dough. <clears throat> and uh, about two cups of corn juice. And then we're done. We mixed it all together. What you want, the key here is consistency. What you want here, you want your dough to like tear apart like that. That is what you want. And uh, to mix it in together, you can use a bowl like I did and a spoon and just mix it in. Mix all the ingredients together. And uh, this is what you get, literally, look at that. And it smells good. It smells like corn, 
flour with the, the garlic. Just, this just some good stuff, guys. You guys will definitely try this at home. And you don't really need this much stuff. You can just literally find one of these cans at like Walmart, which is like uh, 85 cents, I believe. <clears throat> or you might already have some at home, especially flour too. And garlic and salt, that's about it. But yeah, so once you're done with this, you can do uh, what I usually like to do is uh, I like to put in a Ziploc bag. <clears throat> put in a Ziploc bag like this. And I like to uh, throw a little bit of more flour in there so it doesn't start sticking to the walls of the bag. And uh, this will probably last you about a really long time, depending on how much you use, but this probably will last me a month. And trust me, it's way better than power bait. <clears throat> anyway, guys, I got something else to show you guys real quick before I end this little tutorial. Man, I got all over my hands all right before i end this video let me show you guys something pretty awesome right here and these are uh cracking bass uh <clears throat> fishing pliers he sent me one of these uh to do a review on them and let me tell you i haven't gotten a chance to use them yet uh, yeah i'm gonna use them tomorrow with these uh with the dough that way i can show you guys how to use this and uh also explain to you guys about these awesome awesome pliers uh real quick though before I sign off, check this, just the color. The black and red just look amazing, first of all. It's got a lock mechanism right here. If you want to uh, close your pliers up, like that. They're spring-loaded too. So you just lock it with this little button right here. Pretty awesome. It's got a <clears throat> needle nose, so you can get those hooks out. This is why I'm talking about this, because when you're fishing with trout with this, you're gonna need some pliers, so. Definitely, these are gonna come in handy tomorrow, but it's got a nice little uh, O-ring splitter right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna try to, a little point right here. It's a nose, will help you uh, open up those O-rings and get your little treble hooks in there, which I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. I'm gonna be using a treble hook with this. Uh, it's got a line cutter right here. That little part right here, cuts your line. Don't put your finger on there, it'll cut you. Um, more about this tomorrow, but I'm gonna, I wanna give a huge shout out to uh, Kraken Bass for hooking me up with one of these. And uh, if you guys are interested in buying some pretty dope, badass pliers, uh, check out Kraken Bass' uh, Amazon page. I will leave a link in the description below uh, where to pick him up and uh, his YouTube channel and uh, stuff like that. But that, that's it for this little episode, this little tutorial. <clears throat> I will be using these tomorrow, like I said, but till then, I will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Hopefully I can upload a video. Today is the third Sunday, so maybe tomorrow, Monday, I should be able to get you guys a video. So thank you guys for coming by. I uh, appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys next episode.